Yo, what's going on? It's your boy, Jeremiah Dog. I'm here with Kenny Savage at the Savage Council Podcast, where we go live and we go savage. Kenny, how you doing, man? I'm good, man. How are you, brother? Doing good, doing good. Yeah, good, good. What's up, Visalia? What's good? What's going on? Yo, let me ask you a question, Kenny. What? Can you be friends with your ex, man? Oh. That's tough. That's a tough question, but hey, I, I'm wondering. <sighs> well, what, what, you know, is it is it your... I think it all depends on how you left off. Yeah. I mean, what, what, what do you think? I mean, kind of going off what you're saying, I think it all depends on how you left off too. Cause there's some people who are, that I know that are like, Oh yeah, me and my ex, we're cool. Like we're, we, yeah. you know, we, we're, we're not BFS, but we're cool. You know, we can say hi to each other without it being awkward or without having yeah. any type of, you know, um, uh, unfinished business type feelings. You know what I mean? But, um, yeah, I guess yeah. there's a lot of different variables to take into consideration. Um, you know, you have the issue, are there kids involved? Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. Was it, was it, you know, was it problematic? Mm -hmm. Was it sudden? Like, because some people, if it's just all of a sudden out of nowhere, there's no indications or there's, and it just comes out and it's like, yo, I don't want to be with you no more. And right, right, that right. other person can get like really butt hurt. And then they can just, for lack of better words, they can right. just really make your life really miserable. Why would you want to be their friend? Yeah, I mean, and, and it, like also what you said, you know, if there's kids involved, you know, you would hope that if there are kids involved that they can be co-parent. They could be um, adults, you know what I mean? And I feel like I think that's what it comes down to. If, if, if there's kids involved, I think definitely we, we got to figure something out at that point, you know. Yeah, definitely. And that, that, that should be number one. Um, even if you cannot stand the person, right, right. Uh, <laughs> you know, uh, I, I think you should probably make some type of gesture to understand that person mm -hmm. or at least accept them where they're at and just kind of not really take it personal. Cause I mean, you know, you, you have a lot of issues that go into the way people act, the way why they say things, different motives. Mm -hmm. Some people come from a place of hurt. So right, right, right. they could be really hurt that you're no longer with them and they see that you're doing much better with somebody else or moving on or just the ability to move on itself. And they can act out of an emotional place where they're still really hurt. So yeah. they act out in a way from emotion that they don't really understand themselves. Right. So I think if you have children involved, you need to have an open discussion about what is to be expected moving forward. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I think also, you know, maturity plays a huge part in it. Definitely. Because I know, you know, there's people out there who are in a relationship or who just got out of relationships who like, oh, they're telling everybody, oh, no, I don't want to be with that guy because he was this, he was that. Yeah. Or, or the guy saying, nah, that girl was this, that girl was that. But at the end of the day, you know, at, at one point in your life, you had feelings for that person. At one point, you couldn't say what you just said to that about that person because you you loved that person. You had feelings for them. You know, I think when people walk out, when two people walk out of a relationship, I feel like there needs to be first things first respect. No matter how bad it was, no matter if the guy was a cheater or the girl was talking to a bunch of guys or whatever the case, I feel like if two people walk out of a relationship, whether they ended or whatever the case is, there needs to be a line of respect first of all. Mm. Respect, respect needs to come up you know what i mean and i feel like also you know i feel like, and, and it's probably mostly in men like uh, us men i feel like uh -huh. us men we 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 take it as ah nah you know she's whatever man she's just whatever you know what i mean but on the inside we're hurting on the inside we're yeah. going through the pain and going through the you know the um emotions are running yeah. and it's a lot of things going on mentally as well too all very good points. Um, as far as the respect goes, I think you have to respect yourself. Yeah. Okay? So first and foremost, if you can't respect yourself, how are you going to respect others? Right, right. Um, and another point is, is that if you are coming from a place that you are unfamiliar with, like you can't take responsibility for what you've done, how is that respect going to come out of you? Because mm. you're already blaming someone else. You're blaming this, that, the other, 
okay? You have to take a deep and hard look mm -hmm. at what you did to contribute to the dysfunction of the relationship. Now, I'm sorry to say, but if you were a super good guy and everything, maybe you should look at, well, maybe she didn't respect you. Maybe it went too far. Maybe she took you for granted. I mean, there's a lot of different variables. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah you're right. You're right. Also, and I mean, like, but don't you not, but don't you don't want to burn your, like, you don't want to burn your bridges, don't you? You don't want to burn, and like, even if it's not a good bridge that you know will probably benefit you, you still don't want to burn your bridges, though, right? Yeah, don't burn your bridges. And I would add to that is that you want to have stability, closure, and resolve mm. in, in, in a relationship that has ended. No matter how it ended, both of you guys need to be resolved. Yeah. Otherwise, it, it's just going to go on and on, and it's just kind of bad energy. Oh, so, yeah. So, I mean, I could see somebody constantly, well, let's let's put it this way. Okay, say, say you're a guy, you break up, and you don't know why the girl broke up with you. Right, right. But you want to know. You want to know badly. You think a girl's going to tell you why? <laughs> no. I mean, <laughs> I, I, it, you know, like, it, here, here's the reality of it. The right. first cut is always the deepest. It's always the most painful one. Mm -hmm. And if that's your first breakup, you're going to have a lot of unanswered questions that maybe the girl just doesn't want to hurt your feelings. She doesn't want to tell you how she feels. Mm. Or, I mean, I'm not going to blame girls. Maybe they don't know. It just was something about the relationship that wasn't working out for them. Right, and that's right. okay. But as a guy, we're always looking for like, oh, well, what could I have done better? What did I do? Did right. I not give you this? Did I not give you that? Right. Like We come from a place where it's like... You know, naturally, guys are throughout history, we're providers, right. first and foremost. Definitely. We are providers of resources, and we've always taken care of ours and our own. So when you are looking at a superficial, like, oh, well, I bought you this, I got you that, I got you a promise ring. Why you do me like that? Well, maybe there's, there's other areas that a female needs occupied other than just getting things. Mm-hmm. Now, whether, you know, at first, like she just liked your resources and liked going to nice dinners, driving in a fancy car, mm -hmm. that gets old. Oh, yeah. Oh, and then yeah. when you figure out you could get that with anybody, come on, man. So, yeah. you know, the down and dirty is like, hey, there's <clears throat> other areas that need to be tended to a female that are outside of just what you give her superficially on the surface, mm -hmm. you know. Oh, definitely, definitely. Um, <clears throat> it's making you uncomfortable, isn't it? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. It's just, you know, like I, I think about, you know, my own perspectives, my own past experiences. And I just, I just think about it a lot, you know, as to what you were saying. And I kind of put it in play with everything. Um, I felt like, you know, having an ex is portrayed to be a bad thing people say oh that's your ex so that's uh it's a negative it's a no-no right. it's a you know stay away don't answer the phone don't eat, leave on red type situations um i feel like half of that is true half of that is not because depend and it also depends on how how you and that person ended you know what i mean like if you guys ended on good notes then it should be all good and gravy it's not going to be the as it used to be but when you guys do see each other, when the interaction does come around, you're going to be like, okay, hey, how you doing? Good. Okay, good to see you, blah, blah, blah. Boom. And there, there it goes. Because yeah. it's also like, like, you know, the respect that you have for each other. You know what I mean? Because some people break up. Honestly, some people break up because it just doesn't work out. Some people break up because one was being, you know, being an, an, an adulterer, you know what I mean? Or adulteress, you know what I mean? So it's like, it can go one way or the other. You know what I mean? Yeah, and I, I think you summed it up great. And I would add to that that when you do see each other, it shouldn't be like it used to be mm, yeah, because of course. that's why you're not together. <laughs> right, 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 right. So why would it be? So, you know, like we spoke last time uh, of this idea of like uh, impermanence, meaning things are always changing. Yeah. You yeah, know, yeah, yeah. You, you also as a human being, you have to evolve with your emotions and your feelings. And if you continue to drag that negativity through the ground, it's going to weigh you down. Mm. So you should, and you said it best, was it's the maturity level. Definitely. So that's great if you can get along with your exes. Some don't need to be gotten along with. Mm. 
some just, you know, it, it's too much negativity. And I could see, you know, I could see why anybody who is trying to clean up their life and move on, like just not be involved in that. Right, right. And but now here's the thing, though. Yeah. With the respect, you have to understand that that person is coming from a place where they are hurt. Mm. And you don't what you, you don't kick them when they're down. Yeah, okay. Definitely. So so you don't tell them, you know, you just don't make them more hurt. Okay. Mm. And then you just leave the lines open, the communication lines open, and then you try to help that person along too, because I feel like, um, whether you're, uh, you know, running game or you're serious, monogamous, whatever, you're still responsible for that other person because you allowed them in your life. Right. 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 And so to just do them dirty would be awful. And, you know, again, whatever that looks like, you know, that's, that's on you. But those feelings do creep up later. And if you're the type of guy that's always running game and that's just your forte, that's what you're good at. Mm -hmm. You got to understand what can be done to other people can be done to you. Oh, yeah. So one day you're going to be run up on mm -hmm. and you're going to be like, oh, shit, this is what it feels like. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. And, you know, men, men and women, we, we all go through that first crazy heartbreak. Yeah. But I think what happens after that is what. Which I think is that what really matters? Like, how do you how do you respond to being your heart broken? Obviously, a lot of people we don't know how to respond because we get emotional. We we happen to let we let we let things combine with each other, emotions and mentality and whatnot. But I feel like what happens after that relationship that was good or bad makes the difference. I feel like you there's growth. There, there, there's going to be growth in you. There's going to be better it has because to be. Yeah, it has to be. Because how do you expect you can't go into another relationship with your last relationship mentality mm -hmm. or, or, or 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 what you ended on last go into it with the whole new start it with a new relationship. I don't there's no way it works like that. But that's where self-awareness plays key. Mm -hmm. Because you can't be you can't be so pig-headed to believe that you know, when you're constantly blaming other people and you're not taking responsibility for your own actions and uh, you, you don't have any growth out of that because you're always going to put the blame on somebody else. Mm -hmm. But now if you're looking, if you're actually self-actualizing and saying, oh, okay, take an inventory, this is, this might've contributed to this, my negative behavior, mm -hmm. my constant complaining, mm -hmm. you know, me not taking her out you know, when she wants to, me right. not listening, me brushing her off, you know, me sitting there drinking a case of beer during a football game and she wants to go for a walk, you know, you got to be real with yourself. Right, right, right. And if you think that you're going to repeat that with somebody else, well, when you freshly get with somebody else, mm -hmm. it's still, they're showing their best side. Oh, yeah. You don't get that comfort level to where you get to settle in and then be like, oh, she accepts it. Mm -hmm. like your last one might have right so right, right. it's going to constantly be a circle of like it's it's going to be like a dragon chasing its tail trying to eat its own tail mm -hmm. it's it's going to constantly be going but where you can break the cycle and just quit it is take responsibility for what you've done mm -hmm. change it whatever that looks like you know um through a conscious effort or if you're willing to Think about it more, delve deeper, try to find out the roots of why your behavior is like that. Right, right, right. So, again, we're all going to grieve. You know, there is such a thing as the grieving process. But what you do in the meantime, the immediate after that is the most crucial. Because you can go on grieving and grieving and then do far more destruction to yourself by telling yourself stories. And oh, what yeah. I mean by telling yourself stories is your subconscious don't know the difference between truth and whatever you're telling itself. Right, right, right. Your body responds like a physiological effect of whatever is going on in your head mm -hmm. manifests in the body as well. Mm -hmm. So if you're constantly thinking, oh, well, she did this to that and, and she never did it, you're, you're going to believe she did 100%. Man. Hey, that's true. That's very true. That's very, very, very true. You know, I, I think, you know, one thing I could take away also from what you said is that your conscience, that that <laughs> right there, that because and you know what, your conscience is 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 basically like your, uh, you know, 
It's like it's like the person I can't say person you could talk to, but it's it's, it's where you gather your thoughts, yeah. and it's where you think about your next move before you make it. Because we we some people just make moves without thinking, but your consciousness is what you, we need to go to before we make any type of move. And I feel like like you said, you know, um, for some people it's like it's destruction for them. You know what I mean? They they go out there and and make their emotions worse than what they had. They don't want to he properly heal themselves, heal their emotions, and heal their me mentality. You know. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, when you're when, when you're constantly going in a downward spiral, there's there's no time for reflection and, and, mm -hmm. and growth and healing. Mm -hmm. And yes, your conscience is like the North Star. It's your guiding light. Right. right, You right. know, so, you know, if that's what you take out of it and then, you know, it, it's going to it's going to talk to you. Mm -hmm. if you're in tune with it not trying to get all woo woo and oh, yeah, this and yeah. that but <laughs> you know and everybody oh karma this karma that yeah, look, yeah, yeah the truth is no matter how you look at it is what you could do to somebody else somebody can equally do to you and until you've been in their shoes mm -hmm. you're not going to know how to relate with it so if you do have a couple of breakups and then you feel bad about it well just look at the, how the other person might feel and that's what i'm talking about is is respecting where they're at mm. i mean you may not have to you know <laughs> if she's calling you out like you know making yeah. all these you know these making posts and tweets yeah and... all these posts and tweets that are all bad you don't yeah. have to respect that but understand like hey like you know she's hurting bro right, right and right. then so maybe just hit her up and be like hey i, I realize you're hurting but you're hurting me as well you know mm. maybe they just don't see what if that makes it worse what if you t hit her up like hey uh, I know you're hurting, but uh, I'm hurting too. So well, everything they... everything looks bad on on, yeah. on tweet or yeah, on yeah, text yeah. message. On text message, you know. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I, I I would you know I'm I'm old school. Yeah, yeah. A little older, uh, from the generation before yeah. any of this social media stuff, uh, and just you know I would like to see them face to face yeah. and say, hey, like what what's going on? Like what are you going through? Mm -hmm. I may not understand, but help me understand. Mm -hmm. How can I help you? Mm. You know, because I've, I've had text messages where I don't even know that I'm doing things. It's like, you know, oh, I didn't know all caps. That means you're angry. I, <laughs> you know, I didn't start putting all caps. I just thought it looked cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and then somebody's like, why are you mad at me? I'm like, what are you talking about? I'm not mad at you. Just like, caps. I just don't know. I'm trying, like, trying, trying to get my point across. Like, it, yeah, it looks yeah, cool. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> But yeah, no, nah, um, as, as far as that goes, you know, everybody's different. Everyone's going to handle it different, yeah. you know. Definitely, definitely. But I tell you what, you throw gasoline on a fire, it's going to continue to burn. That's why I don't think that you should engage in negative behavior with negative behavior. Mm. You let it be known that, hey, I don't like what you're doing. When you're ready to talk to me about it, I'm here for you. Right, 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 right. You know, leave that door open if you need to. If you need to, yeah. If you need to, but some if you if you got to cut and burn, then cut and burn. I mean, see, I don't believe in holding grudges, like unless it's like you laceration hurt me, like you hurt me in, in a huge way. You know what I mean? I don't believe there's anybody. You know, well, there's a few, but people that that I know exactly that like are holding grudges because oh she broke up with me or she was texting my friend so i'm gonna make sure that i never speak to her again you know what i'm saying and I, some people they like that some people like to hold grudges because it you know what it helps them sleep better at night it helps them elaborate with their next day and the next day after that and gets their agenda ready and makes their breakfast and irons the clothes and whatnot but that's what yeah. people do. That's what some people revert. Some people revert to that negative energy because that's neg holding a grudge is negative energy to me so i believe People who hold that negative energy, that helps them. That that turns into a positive energy for them. I I, I could I can one hundred percent see both sides of that. Okay. On the one hand, I would say holding a grudge is a waste of time. On the other hand, if holding a grudge gets your ass to the gym, yeah, gets you to bench press three hundred and fifty pounds, yeah, yeah, decide to lose some weight, get a better hairstyle, yeah, yeah, and clean yourself up. I see that as a good energy. Oh, yeah. Okay. So if it's a motivation to not get hurt again, mm. again, it's all what you do after. Because, again, you're only working superficially on what's really going on. Right. So right, you got to right. deal with the hurt and you got to deal with the pain. Yeah.
and you got to figure out, okay, it's like you're talking about your conscience. Like when you're talking to your conscience, what is it saying back to you? Mm. Maybe it's just, you have a lousy selection of, of, of selection of your mates. Mm -hmm. Like maybe you're the type of person that constantly is attracted to the bad boy. You know, the, the one that has no resources, but is hot and this and that, and does absolutely nothing for your life. But you know, but you're attracted to that. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's time to take inventory on, okay, so this isn't working out. Like, like we've talked about a lot of times, like when does passion become self-destruction? So if you're constantly chasing these, these people to, um, seek out partnerships with, when is it enough? You know, cause some people go 180, go the different direction. Yeah. You know, we live in an age where gender is, it's no thing anymore. Like you're tired of men, you go to girls. You tired of girls, you go to men. Like whatever, yeah, it's yeah, all good. Yeah. Whatever, you know. Not for me, but hey. But I'm just saying. Like some people, it's like drug abuse, right? right or right, right. alcoholism. As soon as you're done, you're gonna go find something else to replace that emptiness that you feel. Exactly that hole. So I feel like you have to replace something else with yourself if that makes any sense Mm -hmm. fix yourself first because that new person i guarantee you that new person is going to be more complete and more conscientious of what that what what he needs himself or her Mm -hmm. needs herself Mm -hmm. and they're going to bring that value to somebody else who recognizes that as an asset to their life yeah definitely so by improving yourself you improve others around you and by fulfilling your life with you, mm. you can be complete no matter who you are. You're no longer searching for somebody that gives you that rush. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And, it, and, it, and then you have to, it's like you could take a quick, you can get drunk, have a, have a rush, and then wake up the next day with a horrible hangover. Oh, I'm never going to do that again. I feel like some people, that's what they do in their relationships. Yeah. They pick these people and they're like, oh, no, I'm never going to do it again. But I'm back out at the bar looking for the same type of chick. Same chick. <laughs> same thing. But, it, but it's hard. Like, you're attracted to what you're attracted to. Yeah, yeah. But when it comes to the point where it's, like, not good for you, maybe you should look and, and, and really think about, like, well, where did it get me last time? Mm, yeah, that's true. I think people just got to change up their flavors. You know what I mean? Change up what they like because uh, sometimes what you like may not be good for you. It may, may not, it may taste good, but it may, may not digest well. <laughs> well, I mean, look at, you know, look at the apple from the tree of knowledge, yeah, exactly. you know, yeah. what do you got to lose? You know, who said you can't take a bite from it? Oh, right. it looks delicious. It's mm-hmm. red. It's juicy. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. But, um, yeah. Yeah. So, um, guys. I mean, I, I love this topic. We, oh, yeah. we, we could riff on stuff like this all the time. All the time. All, all the time. time. Like, you know, it's it's just that fine balance of self-awareness, how to make other people, like, how to fulfill other people's life in a more compassionate outlook, respecting them where they're at. Definitely. Loving them for who they are. Understanding that the world is full of pain oh and yeah hurt pain and hurt um <laughs> i mean i it's a, it's definitely a mind bender it's, it's no yeah it's it's definitely something that it is it, it gets you thinking a lot about how people interact with each other yeah definitely it, it, it no it lets me know that you know what we loki we gotta work together we gotta work together e- even if even if you know our situations are like you know war over here and war over here both warring with each other at the end of the day we got to work together because at the end of the day we have one thing in common and that's being a human being yeah that's absolutely. having emotion that's having mentality that's having um you know a lot of things going on in our bodies and we, we got to take care of each other regardless yeah because eventually you're gonna you, you're gonna keep doing what you keep doing and it's not gonna work out for you you're, no. you're always gonna be chasing the the wrong set of values mm-hmm. you know um so yeah I, I love it man i got nothing else to say all right well since you guys are paying attention i appreciate you guys for coming to watch this 
episode on the Savage Council podcast. Leave a like on the video. Hit that red subscribe button if you love what you see. Or shoot us a comment if you have any questions or any even any topic ideas that you want to hear us discuss. Go ahead and comment down below. Yeah, definitely. Love to hear some some suggestions for our shows. So just in case you guys don't know, this is the Visalia's best podcast and we do everything we just riff this is not scripted oh yeah you know sometimes we're just hanging out talking about stuff Definitely. And, and, and then we come on and we're just like well let's talk about this i mean yeah. we've talked about it but this is something man you could keep talking and talking about so if you have any suggestions do like j dog said it's your boy kenny savage and that's a wrap <laughs> 